I think that a lot of people out there, they really want to try their hands at animation, but they are too intimidated to do so. They believe that they can't draw good enough or they don't have the patience to sit for hours each day drawing frame by frame everything that goes into a short clip. Can anybody relate to that sort of thing? Because I certainly could. Recently, I've been learning how to do animation, the software that goes into it, and I want to share with you all the story of my progress so far, show you guys my journey, and hopefully maybe inspire some of you all to give animation a shot as well. Because if I can do it, so can you. I suppose like many of you, I grew up watching Disney movies and animated cartoons. Now, I was never deeply fascinated by the animation in Hercules or the line work in Ed, Ed, and Eddie, but what I was fascinated by was how through some simple drawings, an artist could tell any sort of story that he wanted or bring any time period to life. From the lands of ancient Greece to three kids trying to scam their neighbors in a cul-de-sac, through animation anything seemed possible, your imagination is what set the limits. And like you, I'd wager, I too was a kid with a big imagination and dreams of scale. So I spent my childhood scribbling on math tests and on spare sheets of paper I found laying around the house. Mostly I just stole from my mother's stash of printer paper, which usually got me into a lot of trouble. And I drew. And I got half decent at drawing as my teenage years progressed, until at last I entered into a passion for creating movies and skits through the lens of machinima. That's where one uses video game engines to tell stories using characters. It was sort of like animation, creating humorous skits involving Nixium the Night Elf Death Knight and his loser sidekick Mookluck. Oh, shut up, Nixium. But it wasn't true animation, the kind this video is all about. But still, there is one thing that making Machinima taught me with all of its green screen keying, color correction, and sound design, and that was patience and the ability to keep pushing towards a finalized creation, even if only in the present moment you are working only on a single two second shot. And in my brief time working in animation so far, I will say that this skill or these skills have served me very well, just as much as learning how to draw somewhat as a kid. And now we get to it at last, my first attempts at animating something for the first time in my life. Now I can't say exactly what inspired me to try doing this, but then again, why does the man climb the mountain, you know? Because it's there, it's begging to be climbed. So one day, I downloaded Adobe Animate and I began to scribble, just as I had done as a kid in school and around the house, and the patience to create washed over me, as it had done so many times in all the projects that I had made here on YouTube. And this here is what I created. It was a short sequence of Nixium readying his swords, preparing to fight this mysterious cloaked figure, Mookluck, from the Machinima videos. It wasn't much, and it was quite crude, but it was something nonetheless. It was my first attempt at animating. So for whatever reason, I decided to continue experimenting with this newfound skill the following day. I was taking a break from YouTube, I was focusing more on my Twitch streams, which you are more than welcome to come by and watch one day if you're feeling dangerous or want to win some free stuff during my giveaways, but I had a lot of free time on my hands, and so having a moment each day to practice animation was quite nice. As I animated, I quickly learned skills very similar to what I had picked up from in my years of doing machinima, such as having different layers for different animation elements. So for example, in this thing, I drew Mookluck's eyes narrowing where his body is on one layer and his moving eyes are on another. I then played with lip sync the following day, importing audio and animate and matching Nixium's lips to the word Mookluck. And as I put all this together, my little experiments, a sort of short proper animation seemed to come to life before me, like with my video projects in the past with the machinimas. This is when I started watching videos on different laws of animation like squash and stretch, which you can see me demonstrating with this short animation. It, it, it was also my first time using color too. Then what I did is I combined everything that I had learned so far, mostly just you know learning the program and some basic rules, to create this small thanks animation, which I did for fun as a sort of Facebook reaction. Ultimately, I made a decision, and that was that I wanted to really push myself. I wanted to, I wanted to see what I was capable of doing. And so what I did is I grabbed some random Twitch clips and I put them to animation, which resulted in clips like this. No! 
Her eggs make me feel like Batman! Just don't do that stupid, like, memorizing thing. I don't like that. I don't like using my brain. We know. Nixium, what does the sound of sucking a woman's toes sound like? Well, it depends. Sometimes if you get like her baked toe and you like put it in your mouth, you can like kind of go like, and you kind of like, like while it's in your mouth, you can kind of like lick the tip of it and it kind of tickles her a little bit. And then she's like, Ew, oh. and then you're just like, hey, 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 hey. and then you're like doing the thing, you know, or if you want to go like fucking crazy with it, you can literally just be like, you know, while, while you're doing it. Um, and uh, yeah, it just really depends like how wild you want to go. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Maybe I'll make more in the future. I don't know. Those were test clips, so maybe I can make a montage one day. But the point is, you probably have seen in my recent video, Ashes of Creation vs. New World, that I even included a tiny animated Nixium to act as a narrator. And I would like to continue bringing more and more animation to this channel as time goes on, especially refining that little Nixium and, you know, adding more movements and pictures and all that stuff. It'll, it'll take some time, you know, to really flesh it out. You guys understand. This has been a developing passion for me, like painting Warhammer or working on my first novel, coming soon by the way, and I want to explore it more and I just want to share it with you guys. Overall, I have found that animation, although yes, it does require a lot of patience, it isn't as difficult as I thought it was going to be. You don't necessarily need to be a good artist and simply by using some quick movements and character expressions, like in my animated live stream clips, you can tell the story that you're seeking to share. You don't need to go too overboard with it. So to the person out there watching who is curious about animation but is hesitating to try, I say go for it. Whether you're a Michelangelo of art or a novice, whether you're the most zen or the most spontaneous, who knows where your road in animation could take you. And if nothing else, maybe like me, you'll just find a comfortable little hobby worth exploring in your free time. And if it brings you joy to try, why not? So thank you all for watching the video, guys, and hopefully this explains what I've been up to recently and why I've been sneaking some animation onto the channel here and there, even in my recent machinima. I'm exploring this new hobby, I'm getting better at it every day, and I'm very blessed to be able to share it with you guys. So if you'd like to support the channel and my future art, consider hitting the like button, subscribe and hit the bell, or go watch me animate live on Twitch during the weekdays, maybe, if I'm live streaming it. Whatever. I'll see you all there. I hope you guys enjoy my next animated work, and I'll see you soon.